when we think about the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, we think about drugs that help with the symptoms of swelling and pain, and we think about drugs that help with control of the underlying disease problem that leads to the symptoms and ultimately to the damage that rheumatoid arthritis causes. The drugs that actually alter the disease course are the DMARDs, or disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. These are drugs like methotrexate, leflunamide, the anti-TNF agents, and others. About 60 years ago, the Nobel Prize, six, uh, in fact, 62 years ago, the Nobel Prize was awarded for the development of corticosteroids and their application to rheumatoid arthritis here at Mayo Clinic. Since then, steroids have been a mainstay of treatment for rheumatoid arthritis, but it's been unclear whether they simply cover up the symptoms or treat the symptoms or whether they actually have an effect on modifying the disease course. As we've gone along over the years, we've actually learned that steroids do have some effect not only on controlling the symptoms but modifying the disease course. Today, we use steroids for both of these purposes. One would have thought that because of all of the concerns about side effects of steroids, that with the new drugs that we have, we would be using less steroids today than in the past. We actually took steps to study that in our population here in Olmsted County, and what we found out is that we're not using less steroids than in the past. We continue to use steroids as we have in the past, and the reasons that we're doing that are because not only do we think that they're helpful for controlling symptoms of disease, especially in the first year, but increasingly we're realizing that they do have some effect on modifying the disease course. So our, our, um, our efforts in treating rheumatoid arthritis are always to control the disease, to help people feel as well as they can so that they can function and um, perform the thing and, and do the things that they want to do in their lives. Um, we realize that steroids have a lot of side effects, so today what we try to do is when we use steroids, we try to use the minimum amount possible for the shortest time necessary, but at the same time we realize that they actually are very helpful in helping us to help our patients. We try to use steroids for a short amount of time as possible, although um, a very high percentage of patients nevertheless stay on steroids for very extended periods of time, even into years, because low amounts are well tolerated and extremely helpful and turn out to be necessary even with the newer drugs that we have in very many patients.